For professional wildlife photographer David Slater, making a living means snapping thousands of photos to get one that makes some money. When I set the camera up on a, on a tripod and stepped away, I knew it was only a matter of time before the monkey would come in and start staring into the lens about this size, you could see its reflection. Three years ago on a trip to the Indonesian jungle, he took this now infamous monkey selfie, leaving his camera on a tripod, hoping a troop of monkeys might press the buttons and take their own photo. In fact, they took several. Now he says he's lost thousands in payments after websites like Wikipedia decided the photo could be used for free, saying copyright belongs to whoever takes the picture, in this case, a male black crested macaque. There's no dispute that I own the photo. I own the raw file, I own the camera. But what these people are saying is it doesn't matter who owns the camera, the copyright resides with who pressed the button. Wikimedia, which runs websites including Wikipedia, has a section about the disputed picture. On it, it says this file is in the public domain because as the work of a non-human animal, it has no human author in whom copyright is vested. It's launched a debate about copyright. The author under copyright law is the person who puts in the skill, the labour, the work, the effort. And in this case, clearly, the photographer has put in all the skill and effort. And unfortunately, the monkey's just come along and taken the photograph. Meanwhile, David is still earning nothing from a monkey photo that he travelled to the other side of the world to take. Andrew Plant, BBC Points West, in Chepstow.